Okay, hello friends. I am Dr. Sandeep Basin from Carewell Medical Center. Today I'll be talking about one of the treatments of white patches or vitiligo, and this treatment is called melanocyte transplantation. So let's start. Vitiligo or the white patches can be of two types. It can be stable vitiligo or unstable vitiligo. If the white patches are increasing in size or new white patches are coming, we call it unstable vitiligo. But if the white patches are not increasing or no new white patches coming, we call it stable vitiligo. So when it is a stable vitiligo, that is the patches are not increasing and no new patches coming, we can do some surgery for these white patches. And one of the surgeries that we do for these white patches is called melanocyte transplantation. Now what are the advantages of melanocyte transplantation? The advantages of melanocyte transplantation are number one, that the cosmetic results of melanocyte transplantation are much better than the routine skin grafting surgery. Second, we do not require a big graft as we have to take in the skin grafting. So the color match is better, cosmetic results are better and also the graft requirement in melanocyte transplantation is much less as compared to the conventional skin grafting. So I will be showing you how we do this procedure on a client. So let's see how we do this. Okay friends, we are starting now. We can see we are taking a very thin graft. It is called ultra thin graft from the thigh. You can see this is a very very thin graft we are putting in the saline. And it is very ultra thin graft. Now we are putting this ultra thin graft in a solution called trypsin. Trypsin will separate the epidermis from the dermis, the two layers of the skin. And what's important is now we are putting this trypsin and graft in the incubator. This is the incubator at 37 degree we keep it for about 40 minutes. Meanwhile we are taking the blood of the patient and we are putting it in the centrifuge. And the idea is to separate the serum. Now this serum we will be using to neutralize the trypsin. We are here now, we are doing the derm abrasion of the white patch. We are making it abraded by using this derm abrader. And the idea is to have pinpoint bleeding and not to go deeper. If we go very deep, then there can be scarring. So 40 minutes have passed now and we are taking out this trypsin and the graft. So this is the graft in the trypsin and you see the color has changed. It was pink to start with and it has become almost like whitish color. The pinkish color has gone. So that is the indicator that trypsin has been utilized to digest the epidermis and the dermis. And to this now we will be adding some saline. This is saline we are adding. separate the epidermis from the dermis by mechanically we are trying to separate the dermis and the epidermis so you can see the brownish fluid color coming out these are the melanin pigments that are being separated and they are coming into the solution and you can see this we are putting this yellowish serum that we removed from the patient's blood now this the serum helps to neutralize the trypsin Uh, once we have done this, we have taken this fluid with the epidermis and dermis and passing it through the filter. The idea is that we remove the dermis and the epidermis bits separately, separate them out and this serum that we have separated, we are putting in the centrifuge. We are centrifuging at 1500 rpm for about 10 minutes. The centrifugation is over now and we can see that the palette, brownish palette is formed. This is the palette of the melanin pigment. Again we are putting some serum into this uh, melanin palette and we are mixing them thoroughly to form a uniform suspension of the melanin is very much concentrated now. In the pipette we are taking this melanin fluid, melanin rich fluid, and 
and we are putting on the dermatitis white patch. With the dermatitis white patch, and we are putting this melanin fluid on this. Now on the top of this, we are putting a collagen sheet and tigerderm above that. This is tigerderm. We are applying it above this collagen sheet. I'll be showing some of the before after results of melanocyte transplantation. Normally the results come after 2 to 3 months time and let's see some of our results.